it's also a plus to have her around because my student council posters need a little bit of artistic twists. She's just a great sister in general. I love her so much. And speaking of school, if Kayla got a grade for the man she picked, I would give her an A++. These two told me that they wanted the ceremony to be short and funny. Kayla's not great with the cold, as most of you know, as I've watched her wear sweaters in the summertime all her life. As for all of you, you've come from so many different places to be here. The fact that we all travel from different continents, countries, and states is a testament to how important family and friends are. Greatest memory of me saying something when I first started to realize how serious they were was, who is this Sam? <laughs> they fell in love in an animation studio behind a rundown car garage in a sketchy part of town after my daughter here impulsively moved to Ireland on a whim. <laughs> Most of you here know how that left me. But we're very lucky to have really and truly had the time to get to know all of the years uh, right from the very start when they were being covert uh, about dating in the studio without anybody knowing everything except for me. If you had asked me to paint a picture of the perfect girl for Sam, I don't think I would have been able to because I didn't know if she existed. But then along came Kayla, and she was perfect in every single way. Loud, proud, with so much infectious positive energy. You were exactly what Sam was looking for and exactly what he needed in his life. I'm so happy that you're part of our family. You're like the California sun wrapped up into one big ball of energy. to start her new life in Ireland and uh, leaving her at that airport was one of the hardest things I had to do. Um, I just remember thinking she was going to find some Irish guy over there and never come back. Um, and as we all know, first part came true, but luckily for us, she happened to find an Irishman that wanted to move to America. So I guess you could say it was meant to be. Um, Sam, we love you, and I honestly don't think Kayla could have found someone who matches her energy as well as you. Husband. <laughs> I really can't believe there was a time before I met you, because you're just my whole world and 100% made for me. Because who else would let me stick their toes in your face all day long? Probably only you. <laughs> I clearly have a lot of notions, like wearing a giant Christmas tree to my engagement party instead of something sexy, or regaling you with my ridiculous thoughts of pickles and yellow aprons at midnight when you're trying to sleep, <laughs> or convincing you that we need a pet alpaca, which I still firmly believe in, <clears throat> or plotting to steal the wee Scotties from our old neighbors because we love them so much, <laughs> and my plan to wear feet ponchos over a onesie to not get soaked on Splash Mountain. I know you would still ride with me even if I looked like that, so. <laughs> I am definitely ratchet 90% of the time, but I know it's what you love about me. <laughs> but even though I have some serious notions, you totally always go for them all, and I know I'm so loved by my best friend just for being me. You're my oatmeal. You sustain me. So, Kayla. As I was sitting thinking about how I could put my love for you into words, I kind of just realized that like this is it. <laughs> I was like, life will never be better or sweeter than this. So I'm just happy. I'm in love and that's because I'm married to you, my best friend. Yeah. I'm excited every day for what the future holds for us, from like starting our own family to buying our first home, all the way to like growing old and needing your help to get up off the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here and ready for all of these moments from now until the end of my life. You're truly the love of my life. My heart and soul are yours and yours alone. I'd like to land with a little quote from an Irish poet called Brandon Bean that I think sums up this day perfectly. The most important thing to do in this world is to get something to eat, something to drink, and somebody to love you. Mr. Sherwood, you may now kiss your wife again.
wanted to read out a message from my parents. They couldn't be here today. They really wanted to be here. Honey, there's plenty, I don't believe. Dearest plenty Kayla and Sam, just a few thoughts uh, to you both today on the Better celebration of your very special thing. day. We are overwhelmed with emotion of pride, oh, joy and love as we reflect on the incredible couple you both have become. As you embark on a new chapter of your lives, living your dreams, it will all seem so You've surreal how perfectly you all came together. We are so blessed to You've have you both in our lives. You deserve all the happiness me. in the world. We know you will have a beautiful and wonderful life together. And we want you to know, know we will always carry you in our hearts with love, mum and dad. has her own name for Sam and Kate, well, for Sam and Kate, uh, and I'll, I'll think you'll see she's destined to become a literary genius. Sam. <laughs> Kate, Kate. Oh my God. Love you. <laughs> What you mean?